Welcome to the North Ops Fire Weather webcast for Sunday, September 29, 2019. Another round of light to moderate precipitation affected northern and eastern portions of the region during the past 24 hours. A cluster of thunderstorms moved between Chico and Sacramento last evening and dropped between a quarter to three quarters of an inch and locally up to one inch of rainfall. This graphic shows radar accumulated precipitation the past 48 hours. It should be noted that precipitation would be underrepresented across far northeast areas due to radar beam blockage and distance from radar. The most recent water vapor loop from GOES-17 continues to show a broad low pressure area spinning over the Pacific Northwest and portions of Northern California. Ridging is found over the Pacific. Visible imagery this morning reveals large patches of heavier cloud cover across the north and east. An unusually deep and cold low pressure system will continue to affect the region through Monday night. Temperatures will generally range between 10 to 20 degrees below normal during this period. Brief ridging is still expected Tuesday and Wednesday before a progressive series of weaker troughs breaks down the ridge with lasting effects into possibly the earlier portion of next weekend. Temperatures will gradually warm, but not expecting widespread above normal readings for the next five to seven days. Confidence is still lower for the impact details late next week, although plan for deepening, breezier onshore flow. The atmosphere will destabilize once again today and this evening, and to a lesser extent on Monday. Scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms should affect a good portion of the region favoring the Northwest Mountains and Cascade and Sierra Ranges. This graphic shows expected precipitation accumulations between 0500 this morning to 0500 Monday morning, including some wetting precipitation. Snow levels generally between 4500 to 5500 feet. Another round of gusty winds will occur today with peak west-southwest gusts 25 to 35 miles per hour. Favorite areas for the gustier winds include along and east of the Cascade and Sierra Crest, Bay Area, and lower Sacramento Valley. This forecast image is valid at 1700 today. A much lighter northwest-west-southwesterly wind flow expected Monday with a few localized peak gusts 20 to 25 miles per hour. This forecast image is valid at 1700 Monday. A weak to locally moderate north to northeast wind flow will develop Monday night and Tuesday night and last throughout the morning hours. Peak gusts will range between 20 to 25 miles per hour and locally up to 35 miles per hour in the wind prone or gap areas along the lower west slopes of the Cascade and Sierra Ranges. This forecast image is valid at 0800 Tuesday. Humidity values will be on the high side through Monday with minimum readings above 30% and good to excellent recoveries. Humidity will lower some Tuesday and Wednesday, but then trend higher late week with perhaps one exception, and that would be the Far East. This forecast image is valid at 1400 today. The seven-day significant fire potential product reveals a mix of risk, but generally on the lower side. Some heightened risks exist within the portions of the Sacramento Valley and surrounds today as well as Tuesday and Wednesday mornings due to gustier winds. In summary, a vigorous Pacific low influence through Monday night with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms favoring northern and eastern areas and where areas of wetting precipitation are likely, snow levels 4,500 to 5,500 feet today and Monday, gusty west-southwest winds but higher humidity today, drier and warmer Tuesday and Wednesday with a light to locally moderate northerly wind scenario favoring the Sacramento Valley and lower west slopes of the Cascade and Sierra Ranges. A progressive Pacific trough passages starting Wednesday night and lasting into possibly next weekend. 